Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Web Design Quick Tips. My name is Justin Seeley, and I'll be your host. In this week's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the layout and view sections of iThemes Builder. So the first thing I need to do is go back over here to my menus in the WordPress dashboard, and I'm going to go over here to where it says My Theme. You'll see the little Builder hard hat. This indicates that I have Builder installed, and then I'm able to work with it. There's a Layouts and Views section towards the bottom, and this is where I'm going to start. So I'll click here. Once I'm inside of the Layouts and Views section, you'll notice that I have several pre-built layouts already for me, like Full Width, HTML Blank, HTML Block, Image Header, Left Sidebar, Right Sidebar, Split Sidebar, Top Widget Bar, and Widget Widths. In this case, you are also able to see whether or not it's the default layout, the width of the layout itself, whether or not it's using any of Builder's built-in extensions, whether or not it's hiding the widget areas, how many pages it's applied to, how many posts it's applied to, and how many views it's a part of. If you get confused on what any of these things mean, simply hover over the tooltip, and it'll show you exactly what this means. In this case, what I want to do is I want to change the home page layout of my site. So let's go back over here and let's pick one of these that I want to assign to my home page. So in this case, I'm just going to look at the full width layout. And once I'm inside of this layout, I can see here the name is full width. It's 960 pixels wide. It contains a header, navigation, content, a widget bar at the bottom, and a footer. If I want to modify any of these, like the widget bar for instance, I hit Modify Settings. Inside of the Modify Widget Bar Module Settings, I can change how many columns. So for instance, if I want this to be four columns instead of three, simply choose that. If I want to set the style to a different style, I'll hit Save. Once I've saved my changes inside of the module itself, I need to hit Save Layout at the bottom. Now, I'm going to go back over to the menus, and this time I'm going to click Layouts and Views again, and this time choose Views. Then I'm going to add a view, and I'm going to change the view of what? The home page. What layout would I like to use? I'm going to use the full width layout, and I'm not going to use any active extensions. I'm just going to hit Add. And so basically what I've done is I went in, I changed one of the layouts, and then I assigned one of those layouts to a specific area of my site. So now, if I go back to my demo and refresh, as you can see, it now has the header up top, the full width navigation, there's my content in the middle, and my four widgets across the bottom accompanied by my footer. Now as I add more content, of course, this would look a lot better, and if I add post thumbnails, etc., I'd get a more visually appealing uh, demonstration. But for now, just wanted to show you how to use layouts and views inside of iThemes Builder. And that about wraps up this episode of the Web Design Quick Tips podcast. If you have any questions or comments, you can post them on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash webdesigncom. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash webdesigncom and follow us on Twitter. We're at webdesigncom. Thanks, everybody, for watching another episode of the Web Design Quick Tips podcast. My name is Justin Seeley, and I'll see you next week.